What's up? What, 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 what's up, YouTube? So it has been a while since I've made a video. I apologize. I apologize. Let me just, you know, say that firsthand. Just that I've really been working a lot, so I haven't really gotten around time to filming and things like that. But I'm back now, even though I have work today. <laughs> um, so today I decided I was going to do something a little bit different. Um, I decided that it's going to be a story time. And my story time is going to be about when I came out to my mother. So... I believe that I came out to my mom maybe my sophomore year of high school. So I graduated in 2017. So 2015 is when I came out around 2015. Yeah, don't even worry about all the years. <laughs> I was a sophomore in high school. Um, most of the people that I went to school with already knew that I was gay, so I didn't really feel a need to come out to them except for like my close friends or whatever, just because I wanted to, I wanted the words to come out of my mouth. So, um, but when it came to like, when it came to my mother, she didn't know. And it wasn't that I hid how I acted around her. I just think that just like any other mom or any other parent, they just, you know, that's the last thing that they think. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm not going to make this video long because editing fucking sucks. Um, <laughs> I don't have the money to pay for a professional editor like Jeffree Star or James Charles and all of them. But, so, basically... One day, I remember, I'm, like, addicted to the show Bad Girls Club. Loved the show Bad Girls Club. And, um, I think I was, like, watching it in the living room. And it was really loud. I forget who was fighting at the moment. But I was like, yeah, that's right, BRS, that is. Like, you know, hyping everything up. And, um, I had gotten to a, f I, I, I was just sitting there watching the TV or whatever and then my mom said that she wanted to watch something else on TV. So instead of me just, you know, getting up and letting her watch it, you know, which I should have, I was like, oh, well, I'm watching my show right now. Like, you know, I only got like 20 more minutes of the show to go. Can you just wait? And she was like, I guess. And then you know how parents do. They go in their room and then they're talking and talking. So she comes back out and she says that she wants to watch her show because she wants to go to sleep early. So I, so we start kind of arguing back and forth. And, you know, I'm not trying to go into much to detail just because what we are arguing about is kind of a, not a personal subject, but just something I feel like I shouldn't divulge on here or divulge, however you pronounce it. Um, so we started arguing and, I, you know, I had said... I was like, well, why does it, you know, why, like, why can't, why is it every time I want to watch my TV show, I can't, but you know, you want to watch it now, I have to stop my TV show. And then she was like, oh, cause you always want to watch these mm, ass TV shows. Well, I'll just say it because she said, you always want to watch these faggot ass TV shows, but forewarning, my mother's not a homophobic person. She loves gay people. She has nothing against them. And she wasn't using the term faggot in a way where it was more so, you know, about gay or whatever the case was. I think it was just, she just wanted to get that off her, get it off her chest. So I just was like, what does it matter to you what I watch? It's a television show. That's just like if you go to the movie theater and you watch a movie about um, two people falling in love or whatever the case is, but you don't like love stories, but you go and see the movie. So, so I'm sitting there and I'm arguing with her and she says it again and she's like, oh yeah, but you're always watching these girly ass TV shows and I'm like, in my head, I'm talking to myself. I was like, she says it one more time. Like, I'm just going to tell her. 
So then she was like, I was like, because I just want to watch a TV show. I think it's funny. Like, I thought Bad Girls Club was like a funny ass show. Girls fighting over dumb shit that um, didn't even need it to be fought over. Bitches fighting over who gets to use the shower first or who gets to use the bathroom first. If that was the case, do you know how many households would need to have a fucking TV show? Everybody. But, um, so she says it again once, like, one more time. She says, she was like, yeah, but I don't understand why you have to watch these faggot-ass TV shows. And I said, maybe because I'm gay. And when I said it, it felt like a weight was off my shoulders in a way. But then at the same time, I felt horrible because... That's not how I wanted to tell my mom or, you know, that's not how I wanted to come out to my mom. I wanted it to be something like where I, you know, we both sit down and I talk to her about it. Not like me and you are having an argument and then I use that as like a, you know, like, boom, I'll tell you just now then. So I said it and I just felt the elephant knock on the door and then just come right on in and just sat right in the middle. So I just went in my room and I left it alone and I didn't really say anything after that to her that night. I just went in my room. It was already late, it was like 10, 30, 11. So I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna give her her space or whatever the case is. Um, I just, I feel like I could have went about it just a little bit better. So, like, I know everybody's probably like, that's it, that's your coming out story. Like, yeah, I was fighting with my mom about Bad Girls Club, and then me and her ended up getting into a fight, and next thing you know, I came out the closet. Um, I think it really hurt her, just because over the years of, like, me going through school, I was bullied a lot, so... Which I'm not saying is, like, a bad thing or whatever. I mean, bullying people, bullying people, it, it, it's atrocious. It's horrible. Like, anybody that bullies someone, you really should be highly ashamed of yourself. Um, I felt like, I felt like it was just, like, it's over. Like, I don't have to hide anything now. Like, I can do what I want. Like, I can say what I want. I can feel how I want now. Um... When I made it to high school, I really started to not give a fuck what people thought. Because elementary and middle school, I would probably say the hardest grade for me ever was probably fifth grade. Every other grade was okay, but fifth grade was the rock bottom of my life. I hated fifth grade with a passion. Um, I used to just have people tell me like, I asked this one girl before, I'm not going to use any names because I don't, it doesn't matter to me anymore. But just like, for instance, I had this one girl say to me, she's like, oh, I don't like you. And usually if you don't like someone, it, you have a reason why you don't like that person. At least in my sense, if I don't like you, know that I have a reason and it is valid. I asked, I said, why don't you like me? She said, I don't know. I just don't like you. That right there makes no sense to me because you don't like me. You don't know why you don't like me. You just don't like me. Like, that's like you saying, oh, well, I don't like black people. And then it's just like, well, why don't you like black people? I don't know. I just don't like them. What? I mean, that's two different scenarios, but it's on the same thing, if you get what I'm saying. But, um... Let me go ahead and connect that to my story. But I just felt like all that pent up energy and that all that pent up anger towards everybody else that treated me a certain way, I just kind of lashed out. And I felt like that was just like my time that I can just be like, it's gone. Like I can wipe that off. Like that part of me is, you know, closeted Gabe is no longer. Bitch, I'm here now. Ah! It's like, no, let me stop. But, um, I, I don't know. I just, I felt like I really hurt my mother, not because I was gay, but, but because of the way I told her. I felt like I owed her enough respect to tell her in a better way. 
And I don't regret it how I told her. I No, wait. I regret how I told her, but I don't regret that I told her. You know what I mean? Like, I wish it was better circumstances of how she found out versus me just saying that out of anger and of us arguing. Um, but, you know, my mom, me and my mom, we're stronger than ever now. Like, that is my ace boon coon. And for those who don't know what that means, it just means, like, partner in crime or, like, that's your go-to person. Like, my mom is my best friend. Like, you know, that, that that's one person that I know will have my back to the end. Um, so we ended up getting over it eventually. And when I say eventually, it really didn't take that long. Um, I think the next day or either the day after that, she came to me and she told me, she said that, you know, she'd always love me and nothing's going to change between us. You know, you're still my child. You're still my baby. So, you know, so yeah, I'm the baby of three, including myself. So it's my oldest brother, my middle brother, and then it's me, you know. <clears throat> so if anybody want to get out of hand, <laughs> no, I got two brothers. That's on speed dial. It's like, no, I'm just kidding, because I handle my own. <laughs> just ask about me. But, um, no. Um, but, yeah, that's about it for the story time. I just wanted to put out a quick video, a little 11-minute video. I'm not going to edit this. The only editing I'm probably going to do is, is just put my intro onto this video. So, if you're like, oh, my God, Gabe, you didn't even edit anything. Like, there's no sport. There's no um, drive behind your videos. Listen. I'm not gonna edit shit to this video, okay? I want you to I want you guys to get in your head. Get in your head. All the way in your head. I just wanted this to be a real video. I don't want it to be censored. I don't want it to be out of context or not out of context. I'm using the wrong word. I don't want it to be um I don't want it to be altered, I should say. I want it to be original. I want it to actually you know, just be the real video. So, you know, more videos are coming. Stay tuned. You can follow me on Instagram at finesseangel underscore 98. Yeah. And um, follow me on Snap. It's GMAN44155. That's GMAN44155. Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter will be in the bio and everything. But um, that's my coming out story. I know a lot of other people have extravagant ones. I don't. Mine was basic. But guess what? I'm far from a basic bitch. Uh. So I'm going to go ahead and head out of here now. Um, I'm going to have a next video coming soon. So a couple of you that do watch my videos, please comment. Um, send me DMs. Give me ideas, like some video ideas. Things that you guys will want to hear about or figure out or learn, you know? Like, let's go on this YouTube journey together. But I'm out of here, guys.